Just looking at those pictures, it's hard to believe that Austin Blunt is okay and that he's able to talk. And the suspect in this case, Christy Kaufman, she's no stranger to law enforcement. Just two weeks ago, she was arrested for battery. You see how swollen it is. After 17 stitches, this scar is a reminder to Austin Blunt that he's lucky to be alive today. I could have lost an eye or possibly got killed if I was cutting my neck. A date night on Clearwater Beach turned strange on Sunday when Christy Kaufman approached him asking to buy flowers for his girlfriend. I told her very politely. I was like, no, thank you. I don't want to buy any flowers. Blunt says Kaufman then offered to sell him marijuana, and he said no. I kept telling her no, you know what I mean? When his girlfriend told Kaufman to leave, things went from bad to worse. As the argument began to escalate, Blunt got in between the two women. A police report says Kaufman took it to the next level. She pulled out a knife and she stabbed me in my face and kind of slashed all the way down and cut me to the bone. And then she just took off running. As blood poured from his face, he ran after Kaufman. I chased her down, and an officer saw, saw me running after her. Even with an officer stepping in to help, she continued to put up a fight. She started kicking the police officer, hitting the police officer, trying to get away. Her record shows a long history of violence. Blunt now faces a long road of recovery and expensive doctor's bills. He'll eventually need plastic surgery. I also have two kids that, you know, depend on me to come home to every day and put food on the table. So. And he's thankful it wasn't worse. I hope that, uh, you know, she gets she gets in trouble for what she did because, you know, that was that was she was really in the wrong for what she did. You know, I didn't I didn't do anything to this woman. Kaufman did time in state prison in 2008. She was arrested for attempted homicide. Now she's back in jail facing a long list of charges in Pinellas County. Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News.